Welcome to episode 6 of the Island Survival Dev Diary. In this episode, I'll go over the changes made during day 6 of the game's development. I added quite a bit of functionality to the editor in this build. First, I added support for variable brush sizes. You can change the size of your brush by clicking on the left or right arrows located directly under the object selector. There are currently 6 brush sizes available, but I may add support for more sizes or different shapes in the future. Next, I added support for auto contouring, which you can enable by clicking on its tick box. What this does is loop through the layers backwards, placing tiles in a larger radius as it goes. This is useful for when you want to automatically add transitions from higher elevation tiles down to water without having to manually draw it in. Of course, you can always turn the contouring off to touch things up exactly as you want. The algorithm for this is pretty slow at the moment while auto tiling is enabled, especially with larger brush sizes. So I added the option to temporarily disable auto-tiling. Any tiles that you paint while auto-tiling is off will be resolved as soon as you turn it back on, so it's a useful option for when you're editing large areas of the world at once. I added four new objects in this build as well. Iron ore, tall grass, clams, and fireflies are now available in the object selector. The fireflies have their own AI and also emit a small light, which makes them look really cool at night. I'll probably add in random blinking to emulate how real fireflies behave. I finally added an inventory window and hooked up the search command to an inventory system so that anything you find will automatically populate your list of items. Items do not stack yet, nor do they really do anything, but it's a step in the right direction. That's it for episode 6. Thanks for watching.